Hello, everyone, and welcome to Flower Power Live for Monday, January 25th. Um, Flower Power is a show where I share one plant and its properties and its energetics and its medicinal history, all kinds of good stuff about it. And today we are going to be hearing from Comfrey which is one of my favorite plants. They're all my favorite plants. Why do I always say it's one of my favorites, right? My name is Allison, and I do love plants so much. I'm a herbalist, ecologist, educator, and so thank you so much for joining me here tonight. If you're watching this and tried watching my first one, for some reason my um, microphone didn't work, so this is version two. Better be good, huh? So this week I once again used a card from the Herb Crafters Tarot deck, which I love. And I don't know about you, but this week I felt super relieved with uh, the change in administration here in the United States. I'm not really that political of a person, but I just felt like a lot of the like tension and anger was going to be hopefully uh, reduced in our country. And I ask for guidance then like how what's the best way to work with this more noticeable shift in energy that I think a lot of us are feeling right now I also checked in with my favorite astrologist and this week there is a full moon in Leo and that always like ramps up a lot of energy but there's also coming up Mercury retrograde so if any of you know about that this is when Mercury is passing between the Sun and Earth and it's a time where certain things are kind of interrupted. Communication, contracts, like you don't really want to buy a house or um, start a new job during this time. But it is a good time to revisit some older things that you have been kind of thinking about or reconnect with an old friend, look back into some projects that aren't finished yet. And so we'll learn what Comfrey has to say about, uh, about that. So, common comfrey, Symphytum officinale, is an old world plant that was, like many of the others we've talked about, brought over here from Europe, and it's naturalized pretty much across all of North America. It has a tall flower stalk, and it has these leaves that, um, they're actually, they're, have what I call semi-irritating hair. So, it's something that if you were going to cut one of them, be fine if you're going to cut a bunch you would definitely want to wear gloves it grows about three to five feet tall and it has these clusters of purple to blue and they fade to like a pink flower stalks on them the bees really love them and it's a beautiful plant for your garden now comfrey can grow in all kinds of soil conditions which makes it great for a place where other plants don't really like to grow that well but something that likes to grow anywhere likes to grow everywhere so comfrey is one of those plants that once it's established it's kind of hard to move or get rid of so you really want to think about where you're going to plant this if you decide to put it in your garden it has a super deep root so when you try to dig it out inevitably you leave a chunk in there and it sprouts again so just be cautious of that now there are benefits to having a robust comfrey patch in your yard and that is because of its deep root, it tends to gather up a lot of nutrients from the soil, and so the leaves are very rich in nutrients. And it can be used as a, um, you can actually cut and put the leaves around, like a mulch, around other plants in your garden. Get into sort of a compost tea. You can add nettles to it. That's another great plant that's nourishing. And then, or you can just put it into your compost pile and add some nourishment. Um, you know the minerals and stuff to your to your compost. So if you grow a patch, be sure you just cut, 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 and you'll have nourishment for your garden all summer long. Now, comfrey is one of the herbs that I started working with really early on in my twenties, and back then I had a lot of intestinal and digestive issues, and that just stems from I was young and I thought I could eat whatever I wanted to, including a lot of wheat which I have since realized I really can't eat. Um, and so I put it into my nightly tea because it's mucilaginous, just like marshmallow that we talked about last week. So I drank that for many, many years. 
one thing you need to know about comfrey is that not only is it a zealous grow grower it's a zealous healer as well so you do need to use caution if you decide to use comfrey for healing purposes it's known for helping to heal broken bones and when a bone breaks often has to be reset <clears throat> into alignment and so if you apply comfrey before it's set properly it can begin to heal <coughs> excuse me and i can't find any water so we'll see how it goes all right back to comfrey now um <clears throat> so you want to make sure that if you're going to use comfrey for healing either a wound or for bones that you make sure that everything's how it should be before you apply the comfrey you don't want things sealing up or healing up before they're ready now over the past several decades <clears throat> Um, we have been able to take a lot of these traditional plants and find out the chemical constituents and why are they so potent? Why do they work so well? And unfortunately for comfrey, we found out that comfrey has what's called pyrrolizidine alkaloids. And these are compounds that can have a negative effect on the liver, especially if you already have a damaged liver. So because of that, comfrey became uh, illegal in many states. And you cannot go into a store and buy a comfrey uh, supplement or anything like that because that use that, they don't have the background knowledge about it. So they uh, banned it in the United States and other countries. Now, I was curious about this because different compounds have different affinities. And so I did find out that... <clears throat> Um, these pyrrolizidine alcohols or alkaloids are have an affinity for water and alcohol so they can be extracted there but they don't have an affinity for oils and so creating a comfrey salve especially if you use the leaves which is has less of these than the root um, so a comfrey leaf salve is or uh, infused oil it's going to be the least likely place where you would have any of these chemicals and then using it um, topically is going to be relatively safe but if you have any concerns about that at all then you just shouldn't use it now I do want to show you I do have some comfrey root here because it is growing in my garden and like this is amazing to me that we have all these warnings and all of this uh, concerns around something that looks like a big pile of brown dirt right but that's what herbal medicine looks like that's how powerful something like that is it's a good stuff now when we run into these problems or these warnings on plants what I tend to do then is say okay well maybe I shouldn't be taking the actual medicinal version of this so I often will look to the flower essence or the homeopathic remedy which really does not contain any of these compounds but contains instead the energetics of those com uh, of the plant so comfrey is actually the first plant that i ever co-created a flower essence with and i was in my um, herbalist training and we went out to um, the garden and my teacher just basically said go and find you know just kind of like walk around and just what plant attracts you and i walked by comfrey and i thought this is the most beautiful plant I have ever seen. You know, it just kind of was like, over here, come on. So I made the comfrey um, flower essence with that. And it really was a great experience. And it started me on my flower essence journey. Now, according to Tree Frog Farm Essences, the comfrey flower essence reconnects the soul parts that split off during trauma or shock and lovingly invites them back by creating a safe haven for their return. Comfrey Essence also works through the root chocolate to influence the body to rebuild cellular structures that support your continued health, healing, and growth. And with the heart chakra for a gentle self-compassion, something we all can use. But in general, it's a tonic for the nervous system, and it can heal nerve endings and some phantom pain, and it creates this kind of purified vibration in your mental state that can allow you to bring some of these subconscious thoughts things that you may have pushed back 
bring them to the surface and to help you to release them because a lot of times we can do work that brings up memories or um, experiences that we've suppressed then what do we do it's really important that you have a way to release these um, if you're going to work with it so once again we saw in the the growth of the plant the medicine of the plant and even in the flower essence I mean a lot of flower essences are very gentle they maybe they help you a little bit if you got to go give a talk they help you concentrate if you need to study but once again comfrey is some pretty serious medicine here and so if you're ready you can go to that other level of healing so next I just want to talk about the Oracle card which uh, from the herb crafters herb crafters tarot deck and this is what the book the s statement that the book has there can be too much of a good thing like too much healing in Cumbria's case right so stop step away and soothe yourself cut it down and it roars back to life in so comfrey is the ten of fire and the card itself shows it shows the table and it shows um, all of these activity on the table there's some oil and beeswax so it looks like they're getting ready to maybe make a salve. there's beautiful flowers and the comfrey hanging to dry and in the background there's a a shelf that's overflowing with all kinds of medicines that have already been made. So the tens represent these plants that restore the soil and heal <clears throat> the earth. And what this is telling us is that it's time for some sort of rejuvenation and restoration. Peace overwhelm. So let go of the excess responsibilities that you have taken on. So just like comfrey can overtake your garden, we too can allow things to grow out of control cut and give away your fertile ideas and gifts because even when we cut to the ground like comfrey something new will grow so this life can be very overwhelming and a lot of time we think that's for negative reasons but often it can be overwhelming even with all of the good things around if we're in a creative space there can be opportunities and ideas and projects that we want to be involved in and yet even those good things can be too much, too much of a good thing. So they require us to put our energy outwardly and, you know, like to grow our leaves and flowers, right? And so what we need to do here is that we've got some deeper work to do inside. And this really does coincide with Mercury or retrograde, which is going to be going. It goes up until almost like the 18th of February. So um, this kind of work, it, it's an inside job. And um it's a good time for revisiting going deep going back to the root go kind of underground below the surface make sure you're nourished and then what will re-sprout the new opportunities the new ideas the new projects that come out after you let go of all these other things will be fresh and green and you will be rejuvenated so that's our message from comfrey tonight and thank you so much for joining me. If you want to be more involved with a group of people, a community of us that are interested in sharing ideas and our experiences about working with plants in both medicinal and energetic ways, feel free to join my Flower Power Facebook group, and I'll put the link below. Next week, I'll be revisiting the Wheel of the Year that I did um, around the first of the year we had talked about dandelion as being sort of our energy for the whole year and we'll revisit the next plant in the cycle which comes up around for in the united states we have groundhog day but it's this midpoint between winter solstice and spring equinox that's right people we're getting close to spring so um i hope to see you then and until then thank you so much for joining me tonight and have a great week Bye bye